This is a crash course in power integrity. Start by importing your file using any of these forms that are supported by SI Wave, IPC 2581 or ODB++. Go immediately and launch the PI analysis. Select your power play. SI Wave only solves what we call passive links. A passive link can have only one net or group of nets connected using what we call passive components. Passive components like capacitors, inductors, and resistors. Usually between nets of one power plane, you only have inductors or resistors. For example, we have a link here between a VRM and a load. The way we do the setup is we put a port at the load and we put the equivalent circuit of our VRM. So we assign a port here on the CPU side, configure, validate, do not simulate, you close this. Now we go to tools, generate circuit element on components, you select the component, in this case, it's our VRM. We want the 1.2 volt connected to ground, and we want inductor, create. It's gonna ask me about the name. So that's the value. These are the values. You can modify them. You say yes. So you can enter any value you want. I'm gonna use these values. You can go to home. You can go circuit element, and you're gonna find this. This is the component that we added, and it's active. We go back to PI. Same setup, didn't change. Now we can proceed and simulate. So we wanna simulate from zero to one gigahertz and launch. Once we have a solution, we go here and we plot the magnitude. And the thing you care about is the self terms and you go to Z plot. And that's the impedance seen from the load. 